be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What is going on, GP fam? How y'all doing? This is the start of a cook with me video. I'm making spaghetti. Finally making spaghetti. I can't believe I haven't had it on the channel yet, but here we are. But I'm making it with spaghetti squash. So I'm going to vlog and walk y'all through the steps of how to do it. And this is vegan friendly. Um, depending on what you add to it, it could be vegetarian. You could do meat or no meat. Whatever you want to do. Just make it your own. Um, but let's get started. First things first. This is a spaghetti squash. We got to get this thing cut in half. As you can see, this knife is in here. I mean, like, you, you really got to put some elbow grease into this thing. So be prepared to put in some work to cut this thing in half and be careful. So I just wanted to just show you uh, my process. I'm starting out. I'm about to get this thing cut in half. And uh, then we'll get this thing cleaned out and get it going. All right, here we go. We have um, the spaghetti squash split in half. Um, so as you can see, it has seeds inside of it. So what you want to do is handle this pretty much just like a pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean out all of the seeds. Make sure you get all of them out. And then we'll get to the next steps right after that. All right, y'all. So this is what it looks like once all of the seeds are out of the spaghetti squash. And this is what it looks like on the side. I have like the flesh and some more of the seeds. So, I mean, by all means, if you want to salvage the seeds and do something else with them, repurpose them, toast them, you could definitely do that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the oven because I need to soften this up. This is going to be our noodles right here. So basically all of this in here, the inside of it is going to be our noodles for our spaghetti, but you have to soften it up so that you can get it out of there. So, all right. So this is what I'm going to be using to actually roast these in the oven. I have a cup of water that I'm going to put right here in the bottom. So it's not a whole lot of water at all. You don't want to use a ton of water. What's going to happen is this water is going to heat up while it's in the oven and the steam is basically going to cook this down and soften it up so that we can get it out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place these in the water. Okay, put them down like that. And I'm going to place them in the oven. As you can see, this is starting to get soft, but it's still okay for me to use it. So I wanted to make sure I use it today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. I have the oven at 350. And once it comes out, I'll let you know exactly how long I left it in there. Because right now, it kind of depends on the size of the spaghetti squash. Sometimes they're smaller, sometimes they're a lot bigger. So um, I'll just keep eyeing it and I'll keep track of the time and let you know. All right, so while I have the spaghetti squash in the oven, I have now moved on to the vegetables. I chopped everything up. I have some zucchini. I have the orange, red, and yellow bell peppers. I have fresh garlic. I have some um, baby bella mushrooms and red onion. So this is the spaghetti sauce I'm gonna be using today. It's called Priano. I'm using the tomato basil sauce. So I'm gonna get these vegetables sauteed in a skillet. Um, and you know, just so I can doctor up the spaghetti sauce as much as I can, add as many vegetables as I can too. So what I'm gonna do is just put some all purpose seasoning spiced up by Dominique. I've, this has been my go-to seasoning for everything. I've been going through this bottle very quickly, you guys, cause it's so good. Um, I'm using this for the vegetables to um, season them lightly before I saute them. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to show you the amount of seasoning that I use. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough to kind of coat the vegetables. And just to add a little flavor to them before I start sauteing them. I usually start off with just my mushrooms, my onions, and bell pepper. I like to give them a chance to cook down and do their thing. And I'm going to add the zucchini in because it cooks quick and so does garlic. So I let these kind of do their thing first, and I'll add those in in just a minute. All right, so this is the stage where I add the zucchini in. You can see how cooked down uh, the mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions are. So I added the zucchini, I added the garlic, and we go ahead and mix everything up. All right, so the veggies are just about done. I'm gonna give them a couple more minutes. And while that's going, I have my sauce. I started that, so again, I use some Priano tomato basil sauce. I tasted it. The flavor is not bad at all. I like the base and where we are with it. I did add some all-purpose seasoning. That's my go-to. I added some black pepper as well to it. I also added a cup of water and also a can of tomato sauce to give me more sauce to work with. Um, and I'll, I'm going to see how it goes. I'll see what the thickness and everything looks like once I get the vegetables added and I'll go from there. But I'm going to make sure I let you know what steps I take. All right, our veggies are all done, nice and cooked down and sauteed. That looks so good already. So I've gone ahead and placed them inside of the sauce. I'm going to get everything mixed up, see how I feel about it, taste it, and make adjustments as 
needed. Let's let's just take a moment, a moment of silence to look at this. Don't that look so good, y'all? Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, let me get to it. Let me start this up and see how I feel about it. Okay, the spaghetti squash has come out of the oven. I did let it sit for a little bit, but you still see some steam. These were in the oven at 350, I'm gonna say for about, it was about 45 minutes, uh, 44, 45 minutes. And you could put- All right, fam, so this is what you're looking for. Like I said, you may leave it in there longer because you want a little more bite to yours. Um, but this is what you're going for. This is how you're getting your noodles out of it, is just scraping the sides of it with a fork. And I try to get as much as I can out of it. Um, but yeah, so again, this is what we're looking for here. These will be your noodles. So this gives you, if you're doing low carb, if you just want to lay off of noodles, because I know sometimes it can give you that real bloating feeling, this is a really good alternative. And these kind of have a sweet taste to them. So they're really good. Some people I even know just eat this. They may add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and put it with some parsley or cilantro or something like that and just have a real simple meal. So these are very versatile and really good. Really, really good with a lot of flavor. These are all of my noodles, air quotes. <laughs> These are all of my noodles that I was able to dig out and take from the um, from the uh, spaghetti squash. So it's a good amount. It's a good amount. Uh, like I said, a very healthy alternative for spaghetti and other things as well. I wanted to come back and just show you that it's really a good amount of noodles. So this is going to be, these are, this is my serving size for my mukbang. And I like to try to cover the middle, the dark wood part with food. Um, so this is how much I was able to take out for myself. I'm not going to eat all of that, but this is how much is also left. So it's stacked up kind of high. So, you know, I know it seems like a lot of work to only get, if you were only getting a little bit of noodles, but you actually quite a bit. So you can really, you know, have a couple meals and do some meal prep with this too. Is the finished product. I put some fresh Parmesan on there. Uh, the sauce is hot, so you can see that it melted down. But this is what it looks like. I mean, I, I, it's good. The sauce is good. I've already tasted it. And um, honestly, you don't miss not having noodles. Because, I mean, as long as the flavor and stuff, everything ties together, I think you're good to go. So give it a try. If you guys try it, let me know what you think. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay, Freddie? Yes, Freddie, are you okay? You can't see dishes, right? Uh-uh. That, that, that go, huh? Freddie, are you okay? Are you okay? But you can't put, put the dick with okay. the shadow. I'm just saying. I mean, if you did that, they'll ding No, I'm that. saying that it just goes. Like, you could take any out and put Freddie. Ask Freddie if he okay. Yeah, but I'm just saying that you can't use that for your thing, right? Mm, I'm not trying to. I'm, I'm just... No, no. that's oh. just a question. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Freddie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Freddie? All right. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Looks like the ritual. You can start it right now. Just act a fool, yeah. <laughs> Side, y'all, and I love it. I love it. Wait, is this a month? I love it. Anyways, hey y'all, what's up? What's the deal? Keep it real. Are you true? I'm eating spaghetti, which means I'm ready. I was talking to Freddy, and then he said, Come get me. So I did. I packed up the car, I grabbed the kids. All right, I'm done. Sorry. And that, and that don't rhyme. That do rhyme. What? Come get me? Come get me. You pack. I got the car and I packed up the kids and now we're ready. I said, he said, come get me. So I did. And then I put, then I did kid. Okay. okay. Mama, see, you see how people be hating on you trying to stop your shine? Don't let the devil work again. I'm just saying, Whatever. Rhyme. Huh? <laughs> Damn. She calls me. I be beaming. I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.